here in problem number four, uh, we, we get a scenario in which we can build a function from reading the scenario. Mateo walking to school, uh, he walks for nine minutes, he's six blocks from home. So how far away he is from home is dependent upon how many minutes that he has been walking. So we'll let the, the defining our variables would be the time in minutes would be the x-axis. So x is the time and then y would be the distance from home. So distance, uh, distance in blocks from home. So it says at the, in the beginning he starts at home so it says at, at the nine minute mark he's six blocks from home so nine six would be an ordered pair on the graph. And then it says after walking for nine minutes he's six blocks from home. It's not, he walks at a comfortable pace. So what we want to do here is we want to uh, assume that he's walking at a constant pace. It doesn't say he speeds up. So there's some assumptions that we're going to be making here. So we're assuming he walks at a comfortable pace, meaning a constant pace. And then it says that he stops to answer a text from on his phone and then he stands still for five minutes. So if he stands still for five minutes, one, two, three, four, five, then here he is at the 14 minute mark and he's still in the same place. Still six blocks from home. He quickly walks back home in six minutes to retrieve his math homework that he left on his desk. So uh, in, it takes him six minutes. So he's here at the 14 minute mark, six blocks from home, and then he walks back and he gets back home, distance from home is zero at the 20 minute mark because it took him six minutes more to get home. And so any of these, these situations can be modeled using a graph. The graph represents distance as a result of time, distance uh, dependent upon time. Now, <clears throat> let's see, model Mateo's distance from home in blocks as a function of time. So that, we already did that clearly label your axes. We did that. Graph Mateo's walking journey. Did that. Write a piecewise function. So all we have to do now is to come up with uh, the slope. So the slope here would be, let's see, up two and over three. Up two and over three. Yeah, that works. Up two and over three, two thirds. For this part, slopes of uh, horizontal lines are zero. And then uh, looks like we're slope down one and over one, down one and over one, so uh, slope here is negative one. That's really uh, two of the main things we need there are, well, we need one, we need the slope, we got that, and then we need the y-intercept. So we have the y-intercept for this line. We already know the equation for this one. This is y equals six. And now this one's a little bit trickier. Here we have, uh, if we extend this all the way up, it's gonna be way up there. So we wanna be sure about this one. So let's go ahead and pick a pair of coordinates. Let's pick four, oh no, let's pick 20, zero. 20, zero are, let's let that be our x1, y1. And then for this piece here, let me get my green. So for this piece here, we're gonna use the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And my y1 is zero. Oh, my m is negative 1, and my x1 is 20. So I just replace uh, x1 0 with, uh, replace y1 with 0 and x1 with 20, and then my m with negative 1. And when I multiply through negative 1, I'm going to distribute the negative 1 to both of these terms, multiplying the negative 1 through both terms. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 20 is positive 20. So that's the third piece. That's the equation for that piece. So we have the equation for the second piece. We have the equation negative x plus 20 for the third piece. But this piece, we have y equals 2 thirds x. So we have all three pieces, and then we use those three pieces to build our piecewise function. y equals the first piece, 2 thirds x, that's between zero and s zero and nine. Zero less than or equal to x, less than or equal to nine. The next piece is y equals six. That's from nine 
all the way to 14. Don't double up. Don't make, don't uh, don't put an equal sign for the 9 here and an equal sign there. And then over here, it's the negative x plus 20. And that's when x is greater than, oops, so it's x is greater than 14, but also less than or equal to 20. And that's the piecewise function that models this journey.